The terms artificial general intelligence, AGI, general AI or strong AI refer to machines that can perform any intellectual task that humans can. This means to not only process data logically, but also to think abstractly, to be creative and perhaps even empathetic in decision making. AGI is expected to reason to solve problems, to make judgments under certainty, to plan, to learn, to integrate prior knowledge in decision making, to be innovative, imaginative and creative, and perhaps even capable of experiencing consciousness. Artificial superintelligence, ASI, is technology which might surpass human intelligence. Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom defines superintelligence as any intellect that greatly exceeds the cognitive performance of humans in virtually all domains of interest. A superintelligent machine would be smarter than the smartest human who has ever lived. General AI and superintelligence are commonly assumed to be a long way away, and indeed may never be possible. Some futurist thinkers believe that the exponential acceleration in computing technologies will get ever faster and that it will reach an asymptote, a singularity, a point beyond which it's impossible to predict what might happen next. A lot of the uncertainty related to this point in human history and our future would relate to the presumed emergence of beyond human level machine intelligence around this time. Such superhuman cognition would probably create a very different world from before, though what that might look like is anyone's guess. There are various estimates as to when a technological singularity might arrive, typically between 30 to 50 years in our future. It remains just a theory, however. Quantum computing is another emerging domain of interest. In essence, it enables a highly parallel form of computing that can resolve very complex issues quickly. In theory, this might mean that many existing forms of encryption would be very easy to break. However, quantum computers are still very expensive and have few practical benefits over classical algorithms, especially as a lot of classical algorithms have been redesigned to be a great deal more efficient than they once were. Many of these emerging future technologies may seem relatively far off for now. However, this doesn't mean that we can simply forget about them when we are considering the ethics of AI. Many machine intelligence systems are already starting to possess superhuman capabilities within narrow domains. For example, we have beyond human level classification of protected characteristics, such as sexual orientation. It is clear that the capabilities of machine intelligence will continue to grow ever more amazing and perhaps equally unnerving. We need to act with foresight, taking into account possible futures of any technology so that we can act to minimize the risks present if those worst case scenarios might come true. Legacy systems created decades ago had various assumptions built into them. For example, that a person with a doctor in their name is a male, that only men and women get married to each other, or that a marriage is necessarily only between two people, or even that people necessarily stay the same gender their whole life. Trying to patch these legacy systems to deal with current social realities can be very challenging. We should attempt not to embed similar mistakes in how we train and relate to AI in our present age, so that we are less likely to experience potential issues in future. In 2017, a set of principles to guide the development of AI was created at the ASLMR conference. They addressed principles to guide both the short-term work in narrow AI and the long-term work towards general AI and superintelligence. The capability caution principle states that there being no consensus we should avoid strong assumptions regarding the upper limits on future AI capabilities. The importance principle states, advanced AI could represent a profound change in the history of life on Earth and should be planned for and managed with commensurate care and resources. 
These two principles together tell us that we should always bear in mind the limitations of any programming or quick fix with AI, as it could create issues as the technology advances. Advances in technology towards generative pre-training models are steps that we can make towards creating more generalizable forms of intelligence if given sufficient compute time. For example, with OpenAI's GPT-3, the 1.3 billion parameter model gets two-digit addition problems right less than 5% of the time, little better than chance. However, once the model hits 13 billion parameters, its addition capabilities grow to 60% correct, the equivalence of a D student. At 175 billion parameters, it gets an A+. This provides a plausible and reasonable mechanism for a sudden and discontinuous acceleration in the power and capability of machine intelligence in our near future. General AI and superintelligence are the stuff of science fiction right now, but so too were satellites, mobile communication, and video calls not long ago. We need to always bear the future ramifications of our present choices in mind so that we can plan for sustainably preferable future outcomes, especially in a world in which machine intelligence may have very different capabilities in a short space of time.